Hi everyone. Today is April second, um, Saturday. As you can see, I'm yeah wearing a Sydney FC home kit. That means I'm gonna watch a live soccer match, which is Sydney FC related, and it's this season's um Australian Yuzuzu UTE Hyundai A League match week twenty two. Sydney FC against Western Sydney Wanderers, aka Sydney Derby, again at Nestrata Jubilee Stadium in Cochrane. So previously, Western Sydney Wanderers hosted Sydney FC at Combank Stadium in Parramatta in Match Week 16 on March 5th this year with the result of 1-0. Um, so in terms of the um, current um, ranking, I mean in the um, A League, Sydney FC um, ranked um, seven, um, play 20 matches, six wins, seven draw, seven defeat, um, 25 points. Western Sydney Wanderers rank um, 10th, but they play two matches less than Sydney FC. They play only um, 18 matches, five wins, five draw, eight defeat, um, 20 points. So it's the, actually the third time they face up against each other in um, this season. Um, I mean, in terms of Sydney FC against Western Sydney Wanderers, um, the um, Sydney Derby. From my memory, yes, um, Sydney FC did not win against Western Sydney Wanderers um, this season in terms of um, a league uh, meeting. So this time, Sydney FC play at home against Western Sydney Wanderers again in Nestrata Jubilee Stadium in Cochra for the first time and also the last time in the season. It will be interesting to see whether Sydney FC can secure a victory this time um, at home. So the, restric the restrictions are pretty much the same. You do not need to be um, f fully vaccinated, as in two dose vaccinated, to enter the stadium. And there are no um, person limit for um, major recreation facilities such as sports stadium, like in this case, Nestrata um, Jubilee Stadium as well. And any purchases in inside the stadium, you can't pay by cash. It's um, um, card um, only, so like your... Um, um, credit card like um, something like this so it's an um, electronic payment for let's say any um, food and drink which I will get inside stadium for um, dinner so that's basically um, a bit of the information about this coming um, match the 2021 to 2022 this season Australian Uzuzu UDE Hyundai A League match week 22 Sydney FC against Western Sydney Wanderers tonight 7.45 at Nestrata Jubilee Stadium in Cochra and I will see you there. So I mentioned earlier I live in Epping and the um, stadium, I mean, I mean the Nestrata Jubilee Stadium although it's in um, Cochra in terms of the postcode but the actual, I mean the closest station to walk from there is actually um, Carlton. So from where I live I took the um, T9 all stops train to um, Redmond and now I'm taking the train, I mean T4 all stop train to um, Carlton. So remember to get to um, this part the Jubilee Stadium by train to Carlton. It's the closest station. Cochrane is not the closest station. Carlton is the closest station to walk to get to the Nestrata Jubilee Stadium. So I'm inside the stadium, Nestrata Jubilee Stadium. My seat today it's um section upper five row gg seat 70 well my jacket covered i'm um, 72. i chose upstairs this time because it's well it's um covered so in case um it rains i mean probably it's unlikely to rain tonight because the weather throughout the day it's um pretty good i won't be um bothered so this time i chose a upstairs and also um not indoor but i mean um covered um, seat for my dinner tonight it's some um, fish and chips um, again comes with um, alioli sauce or i mean you can um, get those um, optional ketchup and or mustard but just now i forgot to get when i collect my meal as you can see this um, fish and chips comes with a complimentary bottle of 600 ml of soft drink for your choice and i got myself a sprite so this is my um, dinner, um, fish and chips, comes with um, Sprite and the view from my seat, section upper 5, row GG, seat 72. Number 7, 
So before um, Sydney FC um, starting 11 and substitutes were announced, they already um, announced but not in this form for Western Sydney Wanderers starting 11 and substitute in a list um, once, but not in Sydney FC which they will introduce the player um, regardless of starting 11 or substitutes are one by one. But I guess it's, um, I mean, the Strata Jubilee Stadium is um, Sydney FC's home ground, so that's why um, they announced um, Sydney FC players um, um, one by one. just begun. Sydney FC um, home team blue shirt left to right. Um, Western Sydney Wanderers um, red and black um, away team um, right to left. Notably um, Ryan Grant um, the number 23 from Sydney FC. This is his 268 um, appearances for Sydney FC which over um, take previously um, Alex Brosk um, 267 um, appearances so that means um, Ryan Grant, um, no, number 23 from Sydney FC, is now the all-time um, most um, cap. I mean, most player, most played um, player for um, Sydney FC.
Adam Lafondra, number 14, scored, scored an early goal for Sydney FC and now as it stands, Sydney FC 1, Western Sydney 1, Brazil 0. So just now, um, I mean, Tom Ahmed, number 10 from Western City, Wanderers, actually scored an equaliser and the um, half time score, um, Sydney FC won, Western City, Wanderers won. So it's a win the situation at the uh, moment. So let's see um, if Sydney FC or Western City, Wanderers score. I mean, probably in the next or even maybe more go to secure the victory, or maybe it end up end up in the draw, maybe like one one or two two. Anyway, half time score: City FC one, Western City Wanderers one. So second half has just begun. Western City Wanderers left to right, City FC right to left. prediction um, there is another goal and it's from Sydney FC's number 12 Trent Bahaja so for now it's Sydney FC 2 Western Sydney Wanderers 1 That means Tran Bahaja scored the brace for Sydney FC and as it stands Sydney FC 3, Western Sydney 1 versus 1.
questions in the Wanderers. I'm not sure who scored, but now it's only a one goal difference, one goal um, deficit. So, yes. Um, Sydney FC, three questions in the Wanderers. Two! Time has just ended. Well, it's actually Tate Russell from Western Sydney Wanderers to um, try to um, minimise the deficit, but it's still the result is there. Western, I mean Sydney FC still managed to um, won the match. Full time score: Sydney FC three, Western Sydney uh, Wanderers two. So as things stand in the, um, I mean the ranking, um, Sydney FC. Um, now climb up to 4th with 28 points. Western Sydney Wanderers remain 10th with um, 20 points. So that's the end of this um, 2021 to 2022 Australia Isuzu UDE Hyundai A-League Match Week 22 full-time score Sydney FC 3, Western Sydney Wanderers 2. Hopefully you guys will um, enjoy the video, especially the first um, um, Sydney Derby play in Sydney FC home ground here in Nestrata Jubilee Stadium in Kokra. Although the closest station again it's from um, Carlton if you walk. And yes, if you like this video, it will be appreciated to give a like even more to um, subscribe to this channel and follow my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And that's a wrap. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya! Something I forgot to mention. So Sydney FC, yes, um, won Western Sydney Wanderers by 3-2, uh, but Ryan Grant, as mentioned now, he's the all-time um, cap for Sydney FC, the 268 uh, appearances for um, Ryan Grant in this match against um, Western Sydney Wanderers. He got the um, second yellow at the end of the second half, so se second yellow, which means um, one red, so Sydney FC is down to um, 10 men for a couple of minutes. Um, at the end. So today again it's um, April 2nd and Saturday. Tomorrow it's April 3rd and um, Sunday. That means first Sunday of April daylight saving ends. That means it, winter time comes and it means the time will, I mean in here in New South Wales, will move back an hour. That means this night tonight I will have one extra hour of sleep. So for example it's now um, 11, uh, 17 here in Sydney time. So winter time or daylight saving time end means moving back the clock by an hour. That is equivalent to, should be, I mean, from tomorrow onwards will be one hour behind, I mean backwards, so it will be 10, 17. Daylight saving ends, guys, remember to move your, um, clock an hour backward, although you can do it on your phone automatically or by the time this video is uploaded, should be probably um, tomorrow, it's already um, with the time. But just in case you don't know, some states and territories such as New South Wales do have um, daylight, sa daylight saving time. Yeah. And yeah, just like New South Wales, not other states have, which is pretty annoying. Peace.